Hello and welcome to this E4 Clicks Project Estimator training video. Today we're going to search through the RS Means Guide. This time we're going to use the navigation tree. So we've seen the index and the favorites in the search. This time we're going to look at the navigation tree. Swing over to E4 Clicks. Again, we're going to start on the line items tab of the updating estimate window. We can check out other videos if we can't remember how to get to this point in the software. We're going to go ahead and open up the RS Means facility. To do that, we can right click. We can either select from our guides or we can choose our default, which is the RS Means facility, which is probably the most popular right out there. It has about 300,000 records, um, including all the modifiers and everything out, totally built out for, for you. If we know the number of the line item we want, we can simply type it like 09050520. It will take us to the selective demolition of flooring. If, however, we uh, have not memorized all the line items in the book, like myself, you may find use of some search utilities. So we've been kind of going through the search utilities here. The next one we're going to look at is the navigation tree. So how do you think we open the navigation tree? This will probably here. We're going to right click. We're going to go to our search utilities and we're going to go find navigation tree. So we click on that. The guide navigator window is going to open up where we can see our list of divisions. And we can see it's kind of built in a tree and has little plus signs next to it. So the guide navigator is really nice. It works as kind of like a table of contents. We saw the index, which would be the back of the book. This is kind of the front of the book where you'd see the table of contents and you'd drill down by section and subsection and be able to go to the area of the book that you would like. It's a real way to see areas and subsections and, and options for different kinds of chillers or equipment and everything. It's very, very nice. Okay, so let's close it down and let's look at a couple other ways to open it because you four clicks, we want to be, make you as quick and efficient as possible, right? So we're going to hotkey. If we right click, go to search utilities and we go to navigation tree, what is the hotkey there? Control N. Why N? Because N begin navigation, right? So we'll look back over here. We have our focus on our line items. And how do we use a hotkey? Control N. We'll hold the control key down and then press the N key, releasing them both, and the guide navigator will open. Very nice. It's probably the quickest way to open it. We can also, for those of us who like the mouse, we have our two icons. Here we can see the navigation tree up at the top. Notice we're kind of moving our way from index to favorites to search to navigation tree. All right? We can see it's a little folder. It looks like it's got a little tree structure there. If we click onto it, we get the guide navigator. So let's use it, shall we? It's nice. Let's say we want to go open up and see what's in 09 finishes. If we click on the plus sign, it'll open it up and show us all the options, the next sections, right? So there's two numbers, and then we get a dash, and we get two more section numbers, right? Let's go open up common work results here. We can click on the plus and it'll drop down and show us the rest. We've moved to another section. So now we've got this two, two number, two number, and two number sections. We can click again and we get down to the fourth level, right? So two, 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 and two. So we have our fourth level down. And when we see the little pages, we know we've gotten to the bottom of that tree. So it doesn't go into every single line item number but just does it by the top four levels there. Makes sense. So we could go to select a demolition of flooring there, 050520, and we could jump there in the book, right? So we could hit N on the keyboard, or if we'd like our mouse over here, we could use the locate item. If we click that button, it'll take us right there to 09050520, select a demolition of flooring. So very quick way. To move through the book, if you have memorized some of those levels, those sections and subsections, it could be a quick way for you to navigate through. All right, so let's bring the guide navigator back up. Here we are again, right where we left off. Again, it's a sticky window, so we can come right back there if we needed to go maybe to ceilings or if we needed to go to the demolition of walls and partitions. Pretty nice there. We could also press the T key, for example, and that will drop down to the first twos. So we'll take us to the 20s here. And we could go to plumbing, and then we could go to facility water distribution, facility water distribution, piping, and then we could find pipe, copper, then steel, stainless steel. So we could find all the different options that we have for us. So 
we can use this to drill down into our different areas using it as a table of contents and then seeing what some of our options were. If we want plastic pipe or steel or some of those other options, we could do that. So that's kind of how we use the navigation tree. So again, highlight something there. We can enter on the keyboard. I'll do that this time. And it'll take us right there into the book. Does that make sense? I hope so. So that was the guide navigator, another nice search utility. Hopefully we're beginning to fill your quiver up there and give you a bunch of different tools to search through the RS means guide. The next one we're going to look at is the select group command, which works hand in hand with the navigation tree. Pretty sweet. So we'll kind of take that one as our next video. If you have a question on this video or need anything at all, please give us a holler. Thanks and have a great day.